It doesn't matter where you come from. Statistically, if you look at it, we weren't supposed to be here. We're both on the same path, both want to get to the top of our profession. So having a guy like that around you all the time is only going to make you better. I'm proud of them, at the path they took. They have accomplished what many are still dreaming about. They did it. O'Shea and Dejon Brissett weren't always on a path to being NBA and CFL stars. Growing up in Mississauga, Ontario, their parents, Makitha and Bernard, separated as a couple, but remained united as a family, ensuring that their children had every opportunity to succeed. Even though we were apart, we understood that they had to be raised. The only way to do that is for us to have a united front. We put them first and leave our personal life all of it. We're best friends and the kids are first priority. I feel like they did a good job kind of keeping whatever was needed for my brother and I um, at the forefront of you know their relationship, keeping us on the right path and keep us in the sports school type of thing and make sure that we stayed on top of you know, what we need to do. They did a good job of making sure we had to be wherever we had to go, whether it was practice or school events. You know, if it wasn't mom, it was dad. They had a good relationship and, you know, they were both active in our lives. So I wouldn't say it was, you know, it was too taxing on us at all. As Dejan and O'Shea pursued football and basketball more seriously, Makita and Bernard faced difficult decisions, letting their boys leave home and chase their dreams south of the border. That was hard because I wonder, did I do the right thing? I sent both of them away at 15. It was hard, but each time they come back, they humbled me. You know, they, they allow me to know that we're fine, we're doing well. I didn't want to go. When, I was, when, when it was time for me to go, I, I, wasn't, I didn't feel like I was ready. I was, I was scared, I was nervous. But you know, at the time, I think my brother was gone two years already. Once I went, I was gone and I was living in you know, 30 minutes north of Chicago on my own. And so for him, I think just seeing me do that was motivation enough. He came to visit campus a couple of times, so he definitely got to see, and it's a perfect you know, example of seeing is believing. The sacrifice paid off with Dejan suiting up as a wide receiver for the University of Richmond and eventually the University of Virginia. But soon it was the younger brother who's turning heads on the hardwood, ultimately landing a scholarship at Syracuse University. I don't even think he knows how big an influence he was on me. Um, to watch him do his thing at Syracuse, you know, big major ACC program, it was amazing for me to watch. Like, me and all my teammates would sit down whenever he was playing and watch him play. And it was cool, like, like my little brother. And to see him do that, it kind of motivated me to make sure I was doing my thing on the field just so I could end up, you know, where I wanted to be. My first year at Syracuse, first couple games, I was playing well and I was like, okay, you know, you know people are talking about me as one of the top freshmen in the ACC. And I had to sit down talking to my coaches. You know, they felt like there was obviously more room for me to grow and myself as well. I, I felt like I wasn't really on the court, it was just being more mature. Really, my first year at Syracuse, I knew I could be a big player. The 2019 NBA draft came and went without O'Shea's name being called. He then attended summer league with the Los Angeles Clippers before fate intervened. My mom called and says, what's happening? I don't hear anything. And I said, well, he's, I think he's down there with the Clippers. She says, no, 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 tell him that he's coming back here to Toronto and he's going to be a big deal. It's actually a pretty crazy story. On the plane back after Vegas, the whole Raptors staff was on the same plane as me. And then going through customs, Coach Nurse was me and Coach Nurse, Coach Nurse having a conversation. I didn't think anything of it, but I was going to the car and I heard one of them say, we're going to call your agent tomorrow. And I was like, okay, whatever. But I thought I was going to sign the Clippers. Like, you know, that was kind of where my head was at. And then my agent called me the next day and said, all right, we're going to sign the Raptors. That's what we're going to do. Being from here in 10 13 is everyone's dream. Well, Shea Brissett, this guy just been dying for his chance. Everything you want from a young player trying to carve out some minutes, he's been able to do. I was at the game and I look at her with my wrist and me. Her and my daughter sitting beside each other and I look at her like, can you believe this? She's like, I can't, I can't. Like, it's real. That's all I could say, like, this is real. It's a real good feeling. It's crazy. You know, you get the call and then you get you hear your name, but um, you know, that's something that, you know, everyone dreams about because you just know it's, it's setting you up for something greater. <laughs> Less than a year later, the brothers would be reunited as Dejan's hometown Toronto Argonauts made him 
the second overall selection in the 2020 CFL Draft. What's going on, Toronto? This is Dejan Brissett here. I'm so excited to be a part of the Argos. I can't wait to get back on the field and turn the city up. So let's go, let's make it happen. That was the best feeling I ever had. Once I like, found out a chance to draft him, I'm like, Yo, this is a dream come true. They went away when they were 15 and they came back as an adult and they're going to play their professional career at home. Don't get no better than that. It was a crazy feeling to know that I'd be home and O'Shea is home and my family's home and thank God, you know, I'm Canadian and I get to play here. And so a lot of opportunities have opened up from that. So it's crazy with all the life. This is your big break. Mama, it's your big break. One of the few positives that came from the pandemic and NBA shutdown was the birth of O'Shea's first child, daughter, L.A. The realities of professional sports often take players away from their loved ones. O'Shea took advantage of the extra time at home to form a special bond. NBA players, you always hear about guys either missing the game or missing the birth of their child. And, you know, I got to be there for that, which was, you know, absolutely amazing. I could sit and watch them all day. She's beautiful, he loves her, and she loves him so much. My day is full when I watch them and I see them play together. It is. The business side of sports struck O'Shea once again, bringing an end to his homecoming, but he quickly rebounded playing some of the best basketball of his career for the Indiana Pacers. I joined the Pacers, I just didn't try to do anything out of the ordinary, just try to be myself. And uh, it worked out, you know, the guys on the team really accepted me. The dream wasn't really to play in the same city professionally, it was just to play professionally and, you know, I'm doing it. I thank God every day. I've seen their rise, I've seen them fall, I've seen their ups and downs. They've been through it all. But here we are. Just to see the end result, I'm just counting my blessings every day because it's so surreal.